Okay, today I'm going to be showing you about tactical airsoft gear and some pretty good guns that you'll probably want or need in an airsoft war. And I'll show you some airsoft gear that you're really going to need. Okay, so first thing that you're going to need mainly is a helmet. Because if you get hit up in the head or the eye, you kind of have to go to the emergency room. And, uh, the goggles are this kind right here was about say around twenty five dollars. You can get them at Walmart or an airsoft shop near you. And uh, the inside is actually pretty good cushioning. It has the little cushion goggle. Mm -hmm. And do that there. Okay. Second that you're probably gonna want is the tactical vest. These things help out so much, like falling right here. This will, this is an attachment that I got for my birthday. And uh, you can put clips in, so when you're done with that clip and it's out, put it in there and get another one, reload it, go to war. And, um, like yesterday, I had an airsoft for and, um, I got shot, and I didn't even, like, I didn't even know, and he just, like, oh, hey. And uh, he got me, so I just had to go back to the spawn, and I was like, oh, I didn't even feel it. He was like, oh, dang. And then, during that battle, I got shot in the pinky. So that after that game, I bought these gloves, which, they're really good. I mean, like, I got shot up in the hand again, like, right there, and it just bounced right off. I mean, they're really good to have. And, uh... The reason why I got these kind is so I can get a better grip up on my, like the gun trigger. And, uh, like they had some that actually had the long, so, like, because I had it on, and, uh, I couldn't really get a good grip on my gun, so I just got these, which are only about $13. Pretty good. And then, now I'm going to show you my airsoft gun. Okay, the first one is a Smith & Wesson. Some of you probably have some of these kind of pistols. And uh, the cool thing about these is that in the clip, up on the back, when you like you run out right here, you can fill it up with like this whole clip. That's why it's so big. And uh, you hold, there's like this little bar about right there. About right there. You can probably, yeah, right there. You can probably see it. And you just hold it down and you just keep on doing that. And it'll, it'll eventually come out. It's pretty cool. And it's one of those cocked back panels. And then my second pistol. It's amazing. It's the Black Ops pistol. And um, it's a CO2. Really good. And it has a built in laser sight, which is pretty cool. I like it. And then, uh. Now this gun, a lot of you probably know, it's the um, MP7, which is, oh, it's on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3, which is a really good gun. I mean, it's fully automatic, which as you can probably see about, right about, hold on, right about there, which is the full. And then right there is the semi. This is just a little sticker right there I just added on. I don't know, just to make it look like the Call of Duty thing, how you can, when you hit second prestige. It's, yeah, it's fully automatic. And um, it's weird because right up on the front, right here, that's where the, um, the little battery goes in, which mine's charging right now, so it's not in there but you have to learn how to actually put the battery in there because like sometimes if you just try to shove it in there and it kind of works so you have to kind of mess around with it a little and uh I'll put on all the gear for you all and just show you all what it's going to look like when you have on the gear so just give me a minute or two
and I'm not really gonna fully attach it, my best part right here. But Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so thanks guys.